Hey guys, welcome back. I know I just made a video about hair extensions and whatnot, but I have another hair extension video for you today in collaboration with Goo Goo Hair Extension. This is a first impression, a try on, tutorial, review, a lot of stuff coming in this video. I just colored my hair. As you can see, it's a little bit darker. So you'll see this video go through me. Fresh out of the shower, just done coloring my hair. And I'm gonna blow dry it, put the extensions in, style it, so you'll see how I make it work. I absolutely love these hair extensions. I love the highlights, I love how soft they feel, I love how full they are. I'll give you a little spin so you can see the full thing. So if you wanna see how I do my hair and how I put these halo extensions in, then please keep watching. All right, now my hair is all blow dried. So I'm gonna turn on my curling iron, my flat iron. I'm gonna get ready to put some extensions in and transform this. This flat iron I think is from Sally's. Had it for years and years. So we are doing a first impression today of some halo hair extensions that I got from Goo Goo Hair Extensions. Yeah, I do have to say that they sent me the wrong color. I ordered color six and they sent me 16. And so I emailed them and they said, don't worry about it. Keep the wrong color. We'll send you a new one. And it got here quickly. So I did already open the package and whatnot the first time. Here it is. Goo Goo Hair Extensions. In the name of beauty, we sincerely offer quality service, create excellent products and protect the earth's ecology. It's nice and taped up so you know no one has been in here before. Let's Take a look at them. See how this color matches. If you don't know, I do wear clip-in hair extensions as well. So that's part of the problem is that not only does it have to match my hair, but it has to match the clip-ins that I have. Comes a little baggy first thing inside of it. Open it up. Oh my gosh, some beautiful lashes. These are strip lashes. a scrunchie, which is gonna come in handy in just a minute, and then a big old clip. All right, let's open this up and see the hair. Oh, comes with a little instruction booklet. Changeable life at your fingertips. You really can change your life by changing your hair. And then this says, lifetime hair accessory replacement guarantee if you have a broken clip, fish wire problem, or hair tape, stop work. I don't know what that means, but they do guarantee their products. That's awesome. Let's open it up. Let's see how the hair looks. Oh, there we go. Much better. This is going to be a much better match. So these are really dark when you wash them. A little bit of the color comes out. So what I always do when I first get new extensions is I kind of refresh them just by spraying them with some water. These feel really nice and full. This is a halo, so it has a headband on it, a little fish wire. You can see the highlights. It's 95 grams of hair. These are 18 inches. I actually have the original one that they sent me. You can tell it's like much more like a, a warm orangey color. This one has been curled. It still looks beautiful. Yes, you can use heat on these. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying these and I'm gonna show you what I do. First thing I'm gonna do is just curl my hair a little bit. Just that giant clip. So I'm just gonna run some curls through my hair really fast so that I can get it blending. This curling iron works very quickly. You really don't have to hold it there for a long time. And I don't even want these to be tight curls anyway. I'm just 
want my hair to have some movement since right now it's stiff and straight. All right, now we're going to apply the halo and I'm actually gonna use both of them. I'm gonna use the first one and then the second one. So when you're applying your halo, you wanna part your hair and then put your hair basically half up, but I bring this really low down. So I bring it low. And then you're gonna put all of this up. So that scrunchie that they gave you, this is where that comes in handy. You're gonna put all of this up so it's out of your way. So you just have one thin layer of hair right now. Grab your halo, grab your headband. Honestly, this is a little too loose for me, so I'm gonna put a new one on. It just hooks right there. So you just unhook it and you put a new one on. Might take you a minute to get it unhooked, but not too bad and they do have different lengths of bands they're also stretchy you can just stretch it out new band on we're almost ready guys okay put this over your cool bun on the top of your head set it along the part you've just made so it's this thin fish wire and then go ahead and clip the clip to keep it secure. I put a halo at the bottom where that thin with that thin layer because my hair is short. So when I do a thin layer on the bottom, it helps all those short hairs to just blend in. So now we're gonna layer off a second section for the second halo. So here is the new one. And because I've already been wearing the original one they gave me, I know that the quality is good. Same thing. And I am gonna curl these real fast so I'll show you how well they curl when you get them at first and they're really silky smooth you know how I sprayed it with water just to kind of refresh them a bit really giving it a good wash with shampoo and conditioner helps a lot so I actually am really really excited about these two different colors because I think having some of the warm tone highlights and then some of the ashy highlights from the second set is gonna look really good gonna add a lot of dimension to my hair every time people compliment my hair I'm like thanks it's all fake Got some spots to curl back here. A tip I have for your curls are to alternate going away from your face and then towards your face. Makes it look a little bit messier, a little bit looser. So because I have so much hair, I actually wear clip-ins on top of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my clip-ins, but before you add clip-ins, if you're gonna do that, if you have really thick hair like me, you know, it doesn't look horrible if I just put my short hair down on top of it. Let's first address that. Couple of things you wanna do. You see how in the wire, their hair's kinda of stuck? You wanna take a comb and get those hairs 
out of there, unstuck. You can go underneath the wires and kind of pull them out, comb them out. You just, you wanna make the wire as non-noticeable as possible. All right, now I'm gonna curl my hair to just kind of show you what it would look like with my short hair and two halos. All right, so it's not horrible. You can see, you know, this side, because my hair is like thinner on this side, doesn't blend terribly. But this side, you know, definitely around my face and whatnot, there's a lot of short hair. So we're gonna add some clip-ins to even this out. These clip-ins do have some highlights to them, so they're gonna blend in with the halo and add some dimension and then we can curl it all together at the end. This side is a lot fuller, blended around my face. Now we'll go and add just a couple to this side. This side doesn't need a whole lot. Then I use my flat iron just kind of around my face to smooth out these hairs and make them go the direction that I want. I 
And that is it. Using Halo hair extensions is by far the easiest way to add length and volume without damaging your hair and without spending a lot of money. Especially these Halo extensions are so affordable. Hey you guys, that's the finished look. Honestly, I've been wearing these extensions for actually a few weeks now. So this isn't so much a first impression as it also is a review. And truly they feel so soft. I've washed them. They still curl very well as you can see. The amazing thing about hair extensions that you can take out. Like people always ask me why I don't get the ones that are like hand tied or sewn in or whatever. And it's because I love being able to scrub my scalp, rub my head, to move these around. If I change my hair color, it's so easy to just buy new hair extensions that are so affordable, like under $200 versus paying thousands of dollars for new hair extensions and having to spend hours getting them applied. It's so easy to take these out and put them back on. For me personally, because I have short hair and I have extremely thick hair, I have to wear a lot of hair extensions. And a halo makes it so easy because it's so much hair on one weft. So wearing two sets of halos and then just a few clip-ins on the side to even out around my face and stuff is so easy. And because these extensions are so nice, they hold their curl. So when I take my hair extensions out at night, I just lay them on the counter and then I put them back in in the morning and I don't have to curl my hair, you guys. My hair is already done from the night before. Like, I literally hardly put heat on my own natural hair. Only when I wash my hair and I have to blow dry it and curl it to begin with. That's the only time I put heat on my hair. Seriously, I don't even have to touch up my curls throughout the week. Like right now, my hair is freshly curled and I'll just let it go. I'll let it get looser, kind of messier, more wavy throughout the week because I start with these nice, bouncy, tighter curls. And it's such a lifesaver that I don't have to spend time curling my hair and getting ready every morning. I literally just throw these extensions in my hair and my hair's good. Just add some dry shampoo if your hair's getting dirty. Boom. Seriously, I freaking love using these hair extensions. People always are asking me, you've been wearing hair extensions for years. Why don't you just spend the money, spend the thousands of dollars to get the ones that are more permanent? It's because I love these. I love how easy it is to take them out. I love how easy it is to just switch them out for a different color. Like literally, you should see all the sets of hair extensions that I have for when I'm platinum blonde, dirty blonde, light brown, like balayage. I have so many different extensions and it's super convenient for when I change my hair color because they're such good quality. Like they last, they stay nice. You can see how full they are. The ends are so beautiful. It blends really, really well. I just love them. I still run my fingers through my hair. I can still put my head upside down. I sent my daughter off to school with that white scrunchie in her hair because it's so cute, that big white scrunchie that came with it. So I can't use that, but I'm gonna show you how I can put my hair up with these two. Bring your head forward, kind of comb through the hair. The only thing to keep in mind of, of clips that are near your face. Honestly, I'll put my hair in the ponytail and then I'll just unclip this and kind of tuck it back. Same thing with this one or this one. It's so easy. You can still put your hair in a ponytail and it gives you the freaking fullest bad A ponytail. Are you kidding? It's heavy. It's definitely heavy because I'm wearing a lot of hair. So just used to uh, hair ties or whatever. And then this little guy that I kind of move to the back. Just bring him back to the front. I haven't had any issues with the clips. I haven't had any problems with the hair getting matted. I have slept in them and they brush out really easily. They don't get really frizzy. I love them. And like I said, the company is so good too. If you get a wrong color, if the color doesn't match, you can exchange them. Do you see how huge my hair is right now? Oh my gosh, so much volume. It's so big. Seriously, I love these extensions so much.
And just side note, I love having dark hair now, you guys. <laughs> Long hair is so fun, but I feel like dark hair is me again. So that is my tutorial and my review and first impression of Goo Goo Hair Extensions. I will link everything in just the description for you below. So make sure you check that out so you can figure out how to get your hands on some of these. Thanks for watching guys, bye.